Well, hello there, bare bones viewers. Uh, this week, or today, is it this week? Is this a weekly? Is this? I, I think this is kind of daily for the length of it's going to run. So today, um, I'm going to look at some real 3D glasses. Now, you know, you may or may not have seen a film in 3D. If you've seen a film in 3D, the odds are if it was in the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, up to sort of 2017, which is now, uh, you would have used uh, a set with a polarised lens and one's polarised that way, one's polarised that way. You get the 3D effect of everything looking really dim, but hey, it looks like you're really not there. So let's see how these suit my features and whether they persuade me to uh, get into 3D films just on the fashion alone. So these have never been opened, never been opened and it says somewhere, um, difficult for me to see, because obviously I've got my eyeballs, I don't have any eyeballs. Um, it says something about recycling there. So these are actually disposable polarised glasses, but they're not, obviously they're not sunglasses, they're 3D movie glasses, polarised that way. Polarized that way, or maybe it's that way, and that way. The, the, the details don't matter, but let's get these open, shall we? That's what we want to do. Um, so imagine you know, you're excited to see the movie, you're sitting there avoiding the popcorn that's being thrown at you, and you're trying to get into glasses in the sort of dark of the A wall, there's a wall there. So I'm sure this would be easier in real life. Wait a minute, this is this is real life, isn't it? Um, anyway, um, so get the glasses out, and they kind of look a bit like wayfarers, really, don't they? A little bit, maybe, maybe not. <sighs> okay, let's see how these look. See if. Uh, you could be a fashion icon in the cinema as you're watching the film. What do you reckon? Kind of not too bad. I mean, obviously it helps if you have eyes. <laughs> yeah. Um... Why did 3D films never... T they, have, they still haven't taken off, have they? Really? They still haven't really taken off. Because here's the dirty little secret. Everyone hates 3D movies. It's just Hollywood just keeps... One, like, here's an example, right? You'd think Star Wars would be really successful. So they did The Phantom... Okay, maybe The Phantom Menace wasn't the best choice. But they did The Phantom Menace in 3D with the... The, the plan to do all of them, in, they're going to remaster them all in 3D. I don't know how they do that, because they weren't shot in 3D. All, all, all in 3D, and uh, they did The Phantom Menace and <laughs> gave up. Why would, you, why would they give up? Why would they give up making 3D movies? Well, they haven't given up. I mean, suck, as long as there's a sucker to go and see it, they'll uh, still make them, but, you know. At least you can look good while you're going to see your 3D movie, even if it's The Phantom Menace. 